this was Reed's character. <laughs> oh, I was along for the ride. Uh, because it no, is a departure all... from the book. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. It was like inspired by the mm-hmm. script. And, and But what I think the, the thing that sets Stephanie apart is that she's a regular woman mm-hmm. who has this humanity to her and she isn't like a natural born assassin and she really is is just pretending to do this and so for her it's finding a reason giving her life meaning finding a way to reclaim herself um you know she carries like a huge amount of survivor's guilt and um you know she's just very like she's like a raw open wound at the start of the film and as she goes through the film she gets more and more lucid and stronger and confident and you know she just has a purpose she gives herself a purpose and she sort of is a great uh example of determination and grit and you know we all felt like we really cared about her because she comes from you know rock bottom and it's just like she had this little spark and she's you know gets awakened by this character proctor and basically feels like no one's doing anything about this and i have nothing to lose and when you don't value your own life there's probably nothing scarier than that i actually heard about the movie before i read the script so knowing um Reed's take on the character and that it's, you know, because I hadn't read the book yet. So hearing Reed's take on the character that um, it's a movie that's that's an action movie, a thriller, it's it's exciting, it's sexy, it's cool, and, um, and it's made by Barbara Broccoli of James Bond. I mean, how incredible. Already that's a dream. And then hearing Reed describe um, the humanity behind the character and the authenticity and, and how raw and grounded it would be. I had never seen anything like that. So as an actor, it was so rewarding because I, I got to do um, such um, incredible action scenes and, and, and all of these different sequences. And we got to shoot in locations all over the world. And it had all of that, um, that excitement. Um, yet it was one of the hardest acting pieces I've ever done. Um, and um, to have those two hand in hand is, is, is a real, just it's a, such a gift as an actor. Um, so, so I don't know what was harder, the, the emotionality of the character or the physicality of, of the action. And that's, that's a neat thing at the end of the day to know that like you really have to lay everything on the line. Um, and, and the fact that this, you know, to, to Reed's point, she's a real human being. Um, and so for me, it was really easy to connect with. And I think the audience really connects with her because they think this is how I would be if I were in this scenario because she's not slick. She's not cool. She doesn't have it under control. At every moment, she's uh, she's so in over her head. She's drowning and she's terrified and she doesn't know if she's going to make it. But she has the will to survive, which all of us have, you know. Um, and, and I think that that's what makes her um, such an interesting character. We had an incredible cast. So, um, if you, well, if you sort of go in like chronological order, you got Raza Jaffrey. I mean, he's just like such a beautiful actor. He's so soulful and he's so warm. Um, I mean, if anything, you had to make him less warm and lovely, just because yeah. he's just like he's just so yummy and just he's so like comforting, divine, and, which, which works for the character it's too. Great. But also, we wanted to. We were all like, okay, we'll give him some little quirks, you know, because you have to think too. He's a journalist who's super obsessed with this. He's been burying himself in this story Mm. for the past three years, and it's become his whole life. Yeah, he he was so meticulous about it. Yeah, and you want to sort of like question everyone in in, in this you know this sort of movie. And then we have Jude Law, who's Jude Law. I mean, he's incredible. Um, And we had fight scenes with him that it was just me and Jude doing one take fight. Um, So already it's hard enough to do one take as a fight and it was like what, like a three and a half minute fight four minute fight yeah. it was a really long fight but there were no stunt doubles so it's just the two of us um, and then um, so that was obviously incredible and intense and then Sterling and then Sterling K. K. Brown <laughs> Barbara has we're a crush on I we're think all look swir- at her turning pink we were sw- <laughs> yeah. swooning over all these men honestly it was so great to oh, have was great. you know the combination of Raza and Jude and Sterling mm-hmm. so it was yeah, it was fun really for special. us wasn't it yeah. we have a few other great actors in the yeah. and and um 
And we had yeah. Richard Brake. Richard oh, Brake, the Night Williams. King from Game of Thrones. Come yeah. on. Everybody, like, it was really <laughs> all, he's great in this movie. He's all, I cannot believe I got to fight the Night King. It's just, like, <laughs> the most important thing that's ever happened to me. You killed um, the Night King. I killed the Night King. Arya yeah, Stark, eat it. What's so terrific about the way that Reed has directed this movie is that uh, we have the really intense, intimate scenes with Stephanie at the beginning of the film, so you really get to bond with her and understand what's going on inside her. And then when she's catapulted into the world, you know, we see this exotic world. We shot in Spain um, and we shot in, in um, Ireland, which was for Scotland. And uh, we have these- New York. And, and in New York, yeah. Mm. And we have these really epic action scenes, but they're all done from Stephanie's point of view. So we're with her the whole time. And it was really interesting for our, we had a lot of the Bond team uh, working on this, the action guys, the stunts and, and special effects and everything. And you know, normally with them, you know, we're always wanting the big vistas and the big helicopter shots. And, and Reed was like, no, no, we're with her inside the car. We're with her the whole time. And they were like, okay, you know, they had to kind of adjust their thinking, but once they did, it was so liberating for them. They got so excited about how to do it. And you should have seen Blake in the car. Um, just unbelievable what she was doing. And Sean Bobbitt, our cinematographer, was in the Amazing. passenger seat. And we had our focus puller in the boot of the car. <laughs> and it was just careening all over the, the place. And it was really, it was a thrilling, thrilling experience. So yeah. it, I think it, you know, what, what we've managed to do is to capture all the action, but also have the intimacy of the character. And I think it's a wonderful combination. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz you said was mine? Oh, yeah.